and then we can play back and see how this looks you can see now we have a cloth that looks like that but i uh, still lacking a few more uh, uh, still lacking resolution so we can subdivide again maybe subdivide even further and see how this looks obviously you start it will start uh, being a bit slow uh, because of the amount of re resolution we are using you can see even uh, how the wrinkles are more detailed but uh, we are experiencing a problem i'm not sure if you s if you can see it here uh, this are uh, the cloth uh, the cloth itself is intersecting with itself uh, i don't think you can see it here maybe let me reduce the resolution so i'll just delete or uh, maybe change the preview back to something like two uh, simulate again i think because we have a lot every vertex what's what's vertex up here is uh, pinned uh, we are just getting a straight a line. We're not getting those top wrinkles. So I'll go to vertex group here and uh, select uh, these three vertices and uh, remove them uh, from the from the pinning group. And also, I will go here in the hook in the hooks and uh, also disable those hooks. So I think if you go to uh, the first hook, you can see. This is empty one, which is uh, this here, uh, this empty. So we want this one to be on, but uh, this should be off, this one on, off, on, off. So if we go to the modifier here, you can see this is empty, empty. And then this should be empty one, empty zero, zero, one, which is this, uh, as you can see from the top here. So we need to turn, let this on, be on, this one off, on, uh, also this is off so that we have that pattern and uh, now when we play back you can see we have we start to see some of those folds but uh, as you see around here you can see that uh, the cloth is intersecting with itself as you, as you saw there uh, so to disable to make that to make sure that it doesn't intersect you just have to go to the cloth modifier and uh, under collision you need to turn on self collision like that and uh, yeah so now we can play back again wait for it to go back to 150 and then recalculate so you can see now there is no intersection anymore we just need to increase uh, the subdivision so let's put it back to four and uh, play back So it's going to be a bit slow here. So what I'm going to do, I'm also going to turn on smoothing. So so that you can see, we don't see those facets as you can see there. So just select this, turn on smooth shading. And uh, then uh, I'll just go to the, instead of just playing back here so that the cloth s starts simulating, I will just go under cache and hit back. Uh, you can see now the bake has started simulating and uh, we sh just give it a moment so that it uh, calculates up to 150 uh, to see uh, the final thing so I was as I was experimenting uh, let me open another blend file here I tried to experiment with different ways to animate uh, the curtain and uh, another way I found was uh, using uh, the drivers in blender i guess I'll, I'll talk about that in the next tutorial i think uh, but uh, let me just show you how a little bit of how it was in uh, as this is simulating so when you have an object like this and you have let me turn on random colors so that we have these as uh, different colors and you have an object animated say like this so that is animated like this and see it's animated you can copy the animation with an expression using drivers so let's say this here are uh, you, you we have animated the x axis as you can see from the uh, from the red axis there i uh, can come in here and uh, location x we can right click and then use add driver and uh, you will get this uh, expression uh property dri dri uh, driven property so 
now you can turn you can select the object you want to animate you want to uh, to use as the source uh, for the animation this needs uh, an entire video to explain but uh, I just wanted to show you quickly as this uh, simulates uh, because I don't want to edit this uh, to be a lot of work uh, but uh, uh, you can just go back uh, to edit expression and uh, you can select uh, the object so this should be contour as uh, yeah contour and I uh, can see now they are playing back at the same uh, though this doesn't have any keyframes as you can see in the timeline uh, this has keyframes so and uh, this can be moved around as long as let's first turn off uh, this here this can be moved around in any position uh, except x because that the x direction is being influenced by uh, uh, this by this here so you can also i think you can change that so that is not depressed uh, if you change uh, the type the space type to local can we do that maybe not let me see if we change this to i think transform uh, so you can only move it and uh, then you can also in the expression you see under expression you can see vari var variable plus uh, zero zero plus any value so variable is just uh, the value you're getting from uh, this object uh, the animation from here so you can add or multiply anything to it so you can even add more math expression so you can multiply it by two so that whatever value you're getting from this you're multiplying it by two so that means that uh, this object uh, thi with the driver will be much more faster uh, than the other one and uh, the good thing about this is that uh, you can make let's say maybe change the animation for this again uh, let me make sure if we call the keyframe there or let's you can also add another driver here in the z directions uh, because i think uh, it would it's not showing it's hard to, sh to indicate to show you what i'm what i want to uh, show here with that uh, but uh, i think we will cover all of that in a different tutorial since this has already assimilated let's see what we have the results we have so let's play back okay we have a few issues here and i'm not sure why that is let me see what is going on so we have match resolution we have the clock modifier let's go to the vertex group go to edit modes select oh you see are the vertices the middle vertices are also part of uh the pinning group so we need to make sure that that is not uh, the case so let's deselect the top and then remove uh, the middle ones so now if we select again you can see that uh, only the top uh, vertices are in the simulation so in the pinning group so let's go back to the uh, catch it delete back and then back again so again let's continue with this as that so we can use the same animation for this so i'll just go back to edit driver i don't know if this is confusing but uh, i really don't want to edit anything so I'll just keep doing this as uh, uh this calculates so if we go to edit driver or you can just keep to uh, to the time where this simulation have ha is done if you're not interested in uh, drivers or so edit driver and uh, so again select a uh, con uh, zero zero one as our target object and uh, update dependence and let's see and you can see now that uh, uh, this here is also controlling our z position and uh, i think you can also use 
are more complicated uh, math equations like tangents and uh, sines, cosines, uh, things like that in the expression. But uh, I, the, problem, the problem is that uh, I haven't really found a way to, to use them here. Say I wanted to, to add a sine of 90 here. Uh, this gives me an error if I tried to do it like, hmm, okay, that seems to work. Ah, okay, uh, maybe, is it working? Update dependence, yeah, it's giving me a value because uh, I guess uh, because here I was using, I was trying to use uh, the value here, it works. So you, you see you can use more complicated values now you see that uh, we are getting a wave, a sine wave. Let's go to the top here so that you can see it clearly. You see, we, we there is a wave there. Uh, let me try and uh, make it even more powerful. So the value here, if we add 30 to that, uh, that should give it give us a more. Maybe this is in the z direction. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's in the Z direction. So you see we're getting that sine wave and uh, you can use more complicated math equations. So maybe if we add uh, the tangent of the value here, I'm not sure what that would give us, but uh, let's see, multiply again that by two. And see, you can get some really nice. Yeah, so I think this is done. And uh, yeah, you can see the kind what we have got here. And basically, we'll let it uh, simulate until you get uh, the results you want. And uh, if you want, you can also maybe let's see we have pinning here we have pinning here we have pinning here i would just need to increase uh, uh the subdivisions for this so uh, to get even better results but uh you can see that uh, uh this is a really good way to get uh, these kind of uh, wrinkles and uh after you're done with this uh, you can apply uh, the cloth modifier. Uh, first, make sure you apply the multi-resolution and then the cloth modifier, and then you can uh, delete uh, these hooks. So now you'll be left with your curtain, and uh, you can add a subdivision sub surface to make it even look more perfect. So uh, uh, you can see the wrinkles here. Uh, we, we are getting some stretching here. Uh, that's because I think I, I animated these too close to each other and uh, this uh, curtain was too wide. Uh, so you can make yours a bit smaller so that when these, uh, when these compress or cloth close, uh, you don't get uh, this stretching. You, you don't get stretching that is uh, this much, but uh, even this can work for you as a curtain. Now, if you want to reduce on the resolution you see there, uh, because that would be too much a dense object, you just uh, you just go to, you just add, uh, what is it called, a decimate modifier, and then change uh, the ratio here to reduce on the uh, resolution of the object, of the mesh. And you can see now, when you apply uh, the subdivision surface, you get uh, the same results, but uh, with less polygons. Yes, thank you. Uh, also, make sure to subscribe to this channel, other way, uh, so that you can find you can uh, see the timeless uh, that I'm working on. Uh, because I don't want to fill uh, this other channel with a lot of tutorials that are just time lapses. I want to add only explainer videos uh, for this uh, video, and I'll be experiment. And for this channel, I'll be just experimenting with different mod uh, making different models in time lapse in time lapses. And uh, as I explained in this uh, video here. Uh, the last video I made so yeah thank you for watching